confirmed. Sharika Jackson and Stephanie Ann McPherson withdraw from Commonwealth Games 2022. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Now go ahead, please hit that subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, go in and hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops. We drop a video at least once a day here on Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit that like button. And finally, leave your comments after this sports analysis where we take a look at and we break down the races. So, when you're ready, yep, good to go. Well, late last night, we were told that the great Sharika Jackson had withdrawn from the upcoming, well, the currently going Commonwealth Games. But we wanted to wait until there was an absolute confirmation from her management. Well, earlier today, Bruce James of MVP Track Club confirmed that Stephanie and McPherson, Sharika Jackson and Natasha Morris have all withdrawn from competing on the behalf of Jamaica at the Commonwealth Games. Follow us for our next story where we'll tell you where she is at this moment, July the 30th, meaning Sharika Jackson. Now, recently Sharika Jackson became the hottest commodity in sport globally when she ran an astounding 21.45 to become the second fastest woman over the 200 meters all the time this she did at the recently held world championships in eugene oregon The same championships Sharika Jackson had copped the silver medal in the women's 100 meter final behind her compatriot Shelly and Fraser Price and ahead of the world's fastest woman over 100 meters, Elaine Thompson Hera. She won, she ran second in a time and a new personal record of 10.73. Sharika Jackson then picked up her third medal for the championships, winning a silver medal in the finals of the women's 4x100 meters, anchoring the team to the fourth fastest 4x100 meter time ever ran by a Jamaican female quartet. Jamaica took silver in a time of 41.18 behind the USA's 41.14, which made the USA win. Now, this, of course, is my two cents. Um, the turnaround time between the World Athletics Championships and the Commonwealth game is really, really tight. And I can sort of understand why um, Jackson and her team would make the decision to withdraw from the Commonwealth Games. Now, I know that this will disappoint a lot of our fans, a lot of the her fans and track and field fans in general. She is, of course, the fastest living woman over the 200 meters. But I suspect at this point, the concentration may be for her to make as much money as she can for the rest of the season by doing some diamond leagues or continental tour goal stuff uh we have a very special report coming out after this so keep it locked here in peter lloyd world for the latest updates um 
so as I said, I understand that. I also understand why uh, Natasha Morrison as well as Stephanie Ann McPherson would have withdrawn. That might have simply been uh, a decision by MVP to pull their athletes to take them to um, a meet where they can make money. And it's really about making money. And at this point, we all know that the Diamond, the second half of the Diamond League has started, plus the continuation of the Continental Tour, gold, silver, etc. So the athletes at this point are trying to make money. And as I've stated on several occasions on this channel, this is a business and it's the business of earning income and if you are now the fastest woman alive over the 200 meters with that astonishing time of 21.45 i can imagine that almost every track and field enthusiast across the world would want to see you run the same thing happened we saw the same thing happen with elaine thompson here last year when she ran that astonishing 21.53900 and that 10.54 over it sorry in the 200 and that 10.54 over the 100 at the prefontaine classic it's business people and the athletes are here to make some money secondarily the other thing that i have to um express to many of you in most instances with these one-off meets like the diamond leagues and the um, continental tour goals there you don't have three rounds you might have two but you certainly don't have three rounds and the athletes are tired um bit sharika jackson ran by my calculation um she ran three rounds of the 100 three rounds of the 200 and she ran the final round of the women's four by 100 meters that's seven races people in 10 days and remember, she ran a personal record in both the 100 and 200 meters, 10.73, the fastest she ever ran in 100 meters, and 21.45. And not to mention the 21.67 that she ran in the semifinals of the women's 200 meters. So clearly, she's going to be tired. So um, going back to the Commonwealth Games, you're talking about her doing many, many rounds again. And I believe that the decision might have simply been made. Uh, not just for financial reasons, but to give the athlete a little time to rest so that she'll be doing these one off. The Diamond Leagues is normally just one race and, the and sometimes two. And the Continental Tour goals is often two, but not three rounds and it's not as stressful. Uh, the caliber of the athletes, although incredible, it's not like a World Championships or an Olympic Games where it's the best of the best of the best. So, um... I am a dis I'm disappointed personally, but I also know that we'll be seeing her running very shortly. As I said, keep it locked here in Peter Lloyd World. We'll tell you where she's running today. She's actually in the meet today. So we'll, we'll update you as to her status, etc. at that meet. And of course, this is just my two cents. I'd love to know your thoughts. Now, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops, which is about once a day here in Peter Lloyd World. If you full joined the video, please hit the like button. Let us know that you full joined it. And of course, leave your comments. Let me know what you think. Do you, I mean, are you disappointed that she herself, uh, Natasha Morrison and Stephanie Ann McPherson will not be performing, well, competing, that is, at the upcoming, at the Commonwealth Games, which is ongoing um, as of Thursday of this week. Uh, let me know. Or do you understand, well, she's a little tired. She needs to go make some money, etc. I mean, I'd love to know what you all think.